two. The world is on fire. It's been burning for nearly a year. What remains of a fallen humanity scavenged the streets, fighting tooth and nail for the last metaphorical can of Chef Boyardee's instant ravioli. Welcome to the end. You realize our generator is only going to last Kanye knows how long before we run out of electricity and a will to live? And you're wasting our limited resources on mood lighting? I love Chaz. He's my big brother and the light of my life. He is also a crusher of dreams and a torrent of negative energy. We are working through it together. Oh, whoa, mood lighting couldn't be farther from unessential. Not to be dramatic, but this documentary is basically humanity's last chance at hope. I thought the end of the world was the worst it could get, which is saying a lot given the hellscape of an office job I've had the past five years. I swear to Kanye, my little brother thinks he's God's gift to the end of the world. And to be totally transparent with you, I think we may just be God's gift to the end of the world. You know what's going to be around in ten years? Cockroaches. And that cheese from Taco Bell that doesn't melt. Ever. Not even in the microwave. You know what isn't? Jeremy's documentary. Alright, losers! Time for a supply run. May is the sweetest, most wholesome person I know. We've been best friends since college, actually. I still remember the first time we met. Yeah, she hit me with her moped. We don't need more supplies. An entire army of middle schoolers couldn't use up all the toilet paper and fish sticks in our stockpile. For Kanye's sake, lay off. We all just need to bunker down and wait for the end, the real end. It's so close, I can taste it. Hey, no one asked. Liam found a minivan on 12th Street chocked full of eight and a half hour energy and it's all hands on deck. I'm, uh, Liam, Jeremy's neighbor. I don't actually know what I'm doing here. Sometimes I just pretend I do. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just teething. I don't know, May. I'm trying to stage the opening of the documentary today. It needs a lot of love. Then record footage along the way. Like you said, that real life is priceless. But I still can't find my film clapper. Look, it's a sign. Damn it! Kanye. Jeremy! What? Generator's out. Freaking mood lighting. Freaking again! Grab your camcorder and buckle your pants, Jeremy. It's time to get some footage of the real world. Everyone's thinking it. I'm just gonna say it. We all knew the end of the world was coming, okay? First, it was the Twinkies running out a few years back. Then, all of Blockbuster shutting down. Kmart's The Simpsons final season. Oh yeah, there were signs, people. This is what I've trained for. Hey, May, how would you start this thing? You know, if you were divinely inspired to make a documentary series out of the end of the world. If this were my dumpster fire, I'd Michael Bay this cluster. Uh, oh my gosh. They're close. I can smell eight and a half hour energy drinks a mile and a half away. They're like battery acid. For the soul. They say there's enough caffeine in one energy drink to stop your heart and then start it again. You still have 95 milligrams left over. The equivalent of a morning coffee. Too much to carry. We'll have to take the whole rig. No keys. You can hotwire this rust bucket, right? Why does everyone think I'm into sketchy shit? Guess we're gonna have to push. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is it. This is everything I needed for my montage. Oh, this is beautiful. This is raw. Welcome to the end. The begin- Welcome to the end. 
Welcome to the end. Welcome to the end. The Twinkies ran out. Blockbuster shut down. The Simpsons ran their final season. Now I've got a feeling this unmeltable Taco Bell cheese is gonna outlive me. We saw the signs, but went on with life, living it up till the end of time. So raise a toast with whatever you find, and live it up till the end of time. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh.